there friends welcome back to my channel planty princess 92 my name is Ashley and today I'm going to be sharing with you my five favorite fall plants so all five of these plants are plants that in some way shape or form remind me of fall it will probably mostly be because or generally all be because of the colors that they have in these five plants so without any further ado, let's just jump right into this video and get started. I will start off with this little tiny Peperomia Peppermill. Why this one reminds me of fall is because of the orange little colors it has coming through the venations. And honestly, it just kind of looks like a little pumpkin. Other than the fact that it has the green, if it was pure orange, it, it sort of looks like a pumpkin. It also, and maybe this is the orangish red with the green combination, but it also sort of reminds me of Halloween, which is also in fall. So I thought this would definitely be a good pick for a fall plant. Next on my list is the Philodendron Micans. Now, although on the top side of this plant, it's purely green, when the light hits it a certain way, with this bottom one down here, you can kind of see the velvet and along with the backside gives it that reddish orange tint. And of course, if I flip it over, you see it very well. And that definitely reminds me of the color of the leaves that fall from the trees. Uh, so I really love that, especially the way that the light hits this plant, you kind of can see that, um, reddish undertone kind of shine through the leaf and I just think that is extremely gorgeous. We'll go right to the philodendron ring of fire. I had to add this in here because of course as its name suggests ring of fire it definitely has that tint of orange to it. It does also get a little bit pink but for the sake of this video, since we're doing fall colors, we'll stick with the orange. Now, this is a plant that I just recently got, so mine isn't too sun-stressed, um, I guess you could call it, or doesn't have too much of that orange coloration in it. The newest leaf here, you can kind of see, does sort of have little pigments of that coloration coming in right here, and even down here along this side where my thumb is. Um, but I will insert a picture to give you a better view of what this plant looks like when it does get that coloration. It does get quite orange, quite pinky, um, and it does look very much like fall. Next up for my fourth plant, I actually have two, but they are from the same genus, I think. I don't know if it's genus or species, but they are crotons nonetheless. So I have the croton mammy as for obvious reasons is definitely a great fall plant because of the leafy, the fall leaf colors you can see in these leaves, the orange, the red, the yellows, and obviously the greens. But what I love, love, love about this plant is how, how pronounced the color gets when given enough light. Now, as you can see down here, the color is extremely, extremely out there. It's really, it's really um, illuminant and bright and you can't miss it. But when you get to the top of the leaves, you can see they have no color at all. While that is because of where I have this plant placed, it is in my kitchen and it doesn't receive much light. Um, I put this plant in my kitchen because the colors go really well with my kitchen decor but I think I'm going to have to move that because I think I'd rather have a beautiful, healthy, happy plant than a colorless plant in my kitchen, which totally defeats the purpose of putting this plant there in the first place. So this one is the Croton Mammy, and then I have the Croton Bush on Fire, which again, as the name suggests, has the yellow, the oranges, and the reds, and with enough light, it even gets a little deep purple. So both of these plants, um, technically this makes six, but I couldn't pick one or the other since they were both crotons. I figured I'd group them into one. 
These are both very easy care plants. The only thing they really require much of is light to keep the colors really bright and really popping. Great for fall. Last but not least, I have the bunny ear cactus, also known as a mini cinnamon cactus. So cinnamon we know is like a light orange and that's where this cactus gets its name from because of the pricklies that it has. They are like a bright orange. Um, these, I, I love the look of these cactuses, but they are a pain in the rear if you touch them. They are not like a prickly that just pokes you. They are so fine and little that they literally get stuck in your finger and it like hurts for a day or two. So I go nowhere near this, but it is very beautiful to look at. As you can see, the paddles grow off of one another, which is why it gets its name Bunny Ear Cactus. These are very easy to propagate. I've actually propagated this one a few times. This is probably its fourth paddle that's grown out of here. Um, and I have, actually it's fifth, because I have three in one pot and then one in another pot that is already growing its next paddle. So this one grows super fast for a cactus and it's very simple but very beautiful with that bright orange covering the whole paddle. So that is my top five favorite plants for fall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and meeting some of my fall plants. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye!